Welcome back. Today I'm looking at a free OCR program. Now this is free for the Mac and OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. So what I was looking for is something free where you can convert PDFs or other formats into an editable Word document. So that way you can use the readback feature that's built into the Mac. So let's have a look. You've got two options here. Now you can use the free version here and as long as you certify it's for non-commercial use you can use it as much as you want. Or you can go for the pricing for commercial use. You do have limited options when you do use a non-commercial in the sense of different files you can format. But I think there's enough there to get away with and use. So I'm going to select certify. Open it up. First thing I want you to do is go to preferences and choose the options here. Now you've got your format option. If the source file format is the same as the output format, copy file directly to the destination file, which is I've chosen. But you can choose not to convert. But I would leave it to copy the directory to the destination folder. Errors, I'll put ignore errors, so that way I can look at it afterwards for any errors. You could have bought conversion, so it will stop on an error if it hasn't picked up OCR correctly. Or you can prompt what to do, either carry on or abort. But I recommend just put ignore errors and see how it comes out and then you can make your decision after that. Overwrite. It's going to ask you prompt what to do if it's going to overwrite the destination file already exists. You don't want to keep continuously overwriting files that you want. So definitely put prompt for what to do. Also in other you can choose your settings there for example notify when conversion is finished which is a good idea if you're doing a lot also prompt for opening output file or folder after successful conversion so we're almost ready to go so have a look at your little ribbon at the top here you can add a file or you can add a folder so if you've got a folder full of PDFs you might have scanned off with your scanner then you could choose that folder and it would do the conversions for you instead of doing them individually or you can choose the one option here so I'm going to open that up and I've got a PDF on my desktop. So imagine you just scan off a PDF with your scanner. Open it up and it puts it into the program for us. Now tap on it and highlight it when it turns green. Now we could go straight into the option here to convert. But if you've got multiple files and you select add folder. And if that's the case then you have to do select all to select all the files within that window. Then you can convert them all instead of doing one at a time. You can also burn them to a disk if you prefer as well. Let's come down to the bottom here. Choose where you want your output folder. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to put that on my desktop for now. So any conversions will go straight on my desktop. And you can see it's listed there. Now what output do I want to convert to? I've got a number of options here. Have a look. It's not, see, it's not too bad on the free version, is it? Because a lot of these images like JPEG, BMP, portable document format, we tend to use a lot and GIF as well. So I want to convert to DOCX. Now I'm ready to convert. I just click convert. Let it do its stuff. And it will be when it will come up and tell me that it's done. Now I'm going to can open the folder where it's at or open a file. And it opens up in Word automatically and there it is. It's converted. And let me have a quick look at that. It's not too bad, but it does depend on the quality of the original PDF. If it's a scan from a book, then it might not be absolutely brilliant, but it should be, still be okay. If it's an original PDF, it should convert it pretty well, because now, once we've converted it, we can highlight it, then use the built-in text-to-speech option. If you are using Adobe Reader X to access the PD, and then it makes it accessible, you can have it read back. And it's that simple to use and don't save. Again, you are limited. If you get stuck, use the help option, top right hand corner, or go online with some help options. Which format does it support as well? Give it a little go, it's totally free, and see if it's any good. Thanks for watching.